Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments, likes, and subscribing. I do appreciate it so much. It makes this project so much more fun as we together enjoy the number one game in the franchise, The Sims 2. Now, we are actually back in Pleasant View. This is a completely new Pleasant View, the one that I had actually recreated some time back when somebody asked how can you have more than one pleasant view in your game but this is going to be a pretty quick project that lee play sims actually asked me to do what we're going to do is we are going to create two different apartment lots that are referred to as the condos so we're going to do that and the first thing that i did was i actually put this one uh 50 Middle Lane and also 30 Lakeside Drive into my Lots and Houses bin. So we're going to put these guys right over here. Okay. Uh, I think we don't want them on a hill. We want them as flat as can be. I'm pretty sure that's pretty flat. And I'm just, I'm going to keep that tag just like that. And then the 30 Middle Drive ended up coming pretty far over. Where'd it go? I saw it. It just randomly placed right there. And so I'm going to put that guy right there. And these are the ones that I'm going to use as the first part of my templates. And that way you can have like Don visiting Nina and Dina and vice versa. And because don't we really want that in our game? So the first thing I have to do is determine how I'm going to increase this lot. So I'm doing my math right now. Not hard, but that's what I'm doing. So I am actually going to take three off this side, add 43 to this side. And I'm going to take one off the front and add it to the back. And in this one, I will be taking nine off of the left, adding 49 to the right and leaving the front and back just as is. So now that I've got that, I know what I need to do with the lot adjuster. So the next portion of this project is to go around and snap pictures of all of the other houses, like this one, Don's. Okay, so now I have the template that I am going to use, which is a 60 by 20. And this will house this one here plus Don and the Calientes. And then the other three empty ones will be over here that can we see them from here? Yeah, right over there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And what I definitely want to do is section off three individual plots. We're going to use some of this and you know I'm just debating on exactly which fencing I want to use okay so I have decided that I'm going to use this white royal courtyard fencing and I'm pretty sure sure that's from base game and I'm gonna partition it off in three sections of 20 each that way, basically, every house will have its own individual yard, as we're going to do. And the yards will... I mean, it's this is not actually what's going to happen, of course. I'm just doing this as partition. Oh, not quite like that. But that way, I have my plots separated. And so each of them will have a, you know, some some definite definite autonomy. That's what we need, autonomy. And part of why I chose this particular was that way we can have a driveway for each house. They will have to park outside. That's okay. This area of Pleasant View is supposed to be sunny and warm. I'm thinking. And next we are going to build Don's house. And even though it is actually set three back, I am going to start it four back. And oh, it helps if I use a wall, not the fence. That was smart. Okay, starting it four back and 10 that way. And I have to count how many this other direction. 
and it was what I thought, 10 this direction. Okay, and now it's six and six, right like that. And we're going to go ahead and put that back in, grab this, put it right there. And that is the basis of Don's house. And now Dina and Nina's house will be over here. I think that's, let me count. Okay, also four back. And 10 this way, 11 this way is, is slightly larger. Six, seven, go fill that in and then put the driveway right like that and so that is how I am partitioning this off so we've got our neighbors all living on one lot and I will do the same for the second lot all right, I am not certain why this is, but in neither Don's nor the Caliente's house was I able to bring this the way it was supposed to. It didn't fill in, so I'm just filling this in like this to get my second floor. I don't know. I don't know what caused it, but that's okay. I can work around it. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in just like just like it should be. So we've got the front area for both the Calientes and Don. There we go. And they were like this. Now we'll just add those three driveways back. And I really don't know why it wasn't doing that, but yeah, it's taken care of now. And we will go ahead and put the second floor on Don's house. And the more problematic second floor on the Caliente house. I should probably design it the way I had originally when I built it. Page down. this little area over here there we go and that is looking very oh no that's accurate that's right we'll just have to ha hammer some things away right small potatoes easy to fix and Don's second floor balcony actually extends a little bit past this mostly because they can right like that and I will have to fill in with I will have to fill in the fencing and then take away the rest okay so now that I have the shells done I am going to consult the builds that I did of Don and the Calientes homes to create the same feel that I had in those okay so for Don's floor plan I did a bathroom here, stairwell here. This is the kitchen area, and then one large main area. Upstairs, we are actually, we did get that second bedroom in that I remembered, so there will be a second bedroom, second stairwell to go up to the top floor and then or I should say top deck upper deck the scene of the Bella crime as it were I really feel that Don was most likely framed so in the Caliente home we've got a bathroom down here and the stairwell and then on the top floor another bathroom 
and the stairwell. And this is, I think I had figured this was Nina's room, this was Dina's room, and this was a common area for them. And over here, I am gonna adjust this floor plan a little bit to make it more workable, but for now, I'm just leaving that. And so, of course, we will put the stairwell in. We do like the much more industrial one for these. Now, one thing somebody had asked was why I didn't put a second bathroom in the Cal in Lothario's the first time, and I hadn't thought of it. But you know what? Why don't we just put a second one right here? That would be kind of an ensuite for Don and whomever marries him. And then, of course, this would be the nursery or whatever. Although I feel like maybe I should narrow this up just a tiny bit. No, I don't think so. Never mind. Okay, actually, I decided that this will be his master ensuite bathroom. This will be the bedroom. This will be the nursery. And also, I am going to have there be access to the bedroom here as well as to the deck so guests can enjoy both can enjoy the this deck without actually getting into the bedroom because we can lock the bedroom and we can put this door adjacent here so this corner here is going to be kind of a heavy duty corner lots of ha lots happening right here okay and for this other unit that I've never redesigned before. I'm going to have a small kitchen space over here. This will be the staircase and a bottom floor bathroom. Okay, so of course we've got a, another staircase, another bathroom, and then we're going to have basically about like this a larger bedroom, a smaller bedroom, and a little bit of landing out onto this deck area. But of course, we're even going to enclose this so we have the same kind of deck that we have in the Calientes and the Lothario. So I decided to go a different direction with the textures. I wanted to make a much more industrial loft feel. And so that's where I was going with this, both inside and out. Of course, I haven't finished it, but this is where I'm heading for the time being, just to kind of create a much more you know, hip, trendy place for the Caliento and Lothario homes. Now, since I just reused the furniture that both the Calientes and Don had when I did their homes, I did truly go all out or well, maybe not all out, but I definitely designed these and decorated these with them in mind. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, as we did talk about earlier, I did really go for the industrial aesthetic and industrial and rustic and modern all blend very well together. So we've got a modern living room. This is for Dina and Nina. And I really feel like Dina is the stronger personality and she's the one that would choose this particular furniture. And we've got a TV with the gaming console over here. Not a huge TV because she wouldn't want it in her home. And here we've got our desk and a chessboard, some general re recreational area over here is the kitchen with the eating space. All of the kitchens are outfitted with the same papers and flooring and also even the same eating space stuff, but of course there's different configurations. I loved using these loft windows. They just feel so airy and they give what could be very dark a nice brightness. And through here we have the ground floor bathroom. It is a full bath and it has a little bit of a Jack and Jill feel because of course it does exit back out onto the living room. Different view of the living room there. And from here, this door here puts us out into our backyard 
and a nice little swimming pool to enjoy. And next we will go up to the next story. And then we come out onto a landing where it's basically just bright and airy for ballet and art. Well, ballet is an art, but ballet and painting. And there is a small little balcony over here with the beautiful view of Pleasant View and the other condo units that I will be designing at a later date and posting when I can. Now from here we will go ahead enter through this door and this is Nina's room. Now while Nina is a romance sim and I find her to be very romantic, I feel like she is much more appropriately assigned as a family sim. Uh, she is shy. She that's not a good trait for a romance sim. So I just felt like the boho really was calling her name. So a nice place for her shy little butt to read and everything. And then through here is the second of two bathrooms, which of course is a true Jack and Jill because it is adjoining two be bedrooms. And so next we go into Dina's room. Now Dina, I felt would really enjoy the Nouveau aesthetic. And of course she's got her own little quiet space. And now we'll go ahead, go back out onto the artsy landing and back through into the staircase and go up onto our rooftop deck where we have an even better view of all of Pleasant View and the Pièce de Résistance the good hot tub on the raised dais which Every one of the three condos is equipped with this. It just made sense because, you know, why not? And Nina is actually a nature lover, even though we don't know that yet. She is, so we've got lots of florals for her to enjoy. And no, Dina is the nature lover. Nina is the sports queen. So we've got a basketball hoop for her over here. Now let's move on to Don's house. So we enter Don's house. We have the same coverings, but of course the furnishings are different. Now Don is a fitness sim and I outfitted his place with the sports stuff because it just screamed bachelor pad to me. I mean, Nina is the sports lover, but also she's living with her sister. We do have the great kitchen over here. Layout might be just a little awkward, but that happens a lot in construction as they make it fit. And of course, eating for two in case he wants to have either of the girls over for a date. Never more than one at a time. And over here we have the ground floor bathroom. And through here, again, the staircase leading us up to the second floor. Now, at the top of the staircase for the second floor, we are presented with two doors, one leading out onto the second floor balcony, which the only thing we have out here currently is just a bar. This was originally built pre-seasons, so weather was not an issue. And we can go back in through another glass door into Don's room. But also you can get directly to Don's bedroom from the staircase. And Don's bedroom is done in the very romance-driven Central Eastern stuff. 
Central Asian, excuse me. And there is an adjoining bathroom. And over on over here is kind of awkwardly placed, but it is technically a second bedroom. But Don doesn't really think that kids are for him, so he's turned it into his fitness room. And there's also an easel in there. Of course, my original idea for it back when I first did this redesign was that that would be a nursery and it was left unfurnished, but that's neither here nor there. So let's go upstairs. And here we have again that nice large hot tub on the dais and an improved telescope for the scene of the crime. I usually get Don and Nina married to each other and I would like to think that he saw her out here playing hoops and joined her and that's how they became friends. Now on to the house that is completely original for this video and that is the one that I guess is 30 Lakeside Drive. Now since I didn't have personalities to design for I went with the Ikea stuff. The rustic works really well for it. Pretty much anything works well against this nice exposed brick. You actually enter through into the kitchen pretty much, but you don't really see it. You have to make a hard left to go into the kitchen. It's a basic galley style kitchen. And like in the Caliente home, there is a bathroom connecting the kitchen to the main room. The layout is very similar on this level. Uh, not identical, but definitely similar. So over here, we have our staircase. At the top of the staircase, again, the same two doors that we've got in Don's home. And through the second one, we actually get into a hallway, which the only thing in here is just this little ballet bar. In this little hallway, there are three doors in addition to the staircase door. It's bedroom one, bedroom two, and a bathroom. Bedroom one is a single Bedroom two is a double. Of course, this is a much snugger home. And then over here, the second bathroom in the home. Now, once we go upstairs, again, we have those great views, the hot tub, and a place to lay out and enjoy the sun. Okay, so that's this little neighborhood. I will actually eventually finish the other three to flesh out the neighborhood, but don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world, and that's all I have to say. BK out.